sounds like what happens in Vegas seems to have caught the attention of Wall Street. Carl Icahn, just the latest activist investor to take an interest in the gaming industry. Our David Faber reporting today that Icahn is building a stake in Caesar. Caesar's, of course, surging on that news. That news, though, comes a day after reports surfaced that Starboard Value, that's the hedge fund led by Jeff Smith, is building a stake in MGM Resorts. CNBC has not independently confirmed Starboard's moves. But why are activists so enthralled by casinos all of a sudden? At their core, activists look for turnaround strategies at cheap prices, and they have, there are plenty in that industry. Caesar's shares plummeting 46% last year, MGM slumping 28%. Activists also like to pounce in times of uncertainty that gives them a better chance to advise on a change in strategy that includes management turnover. Caesar's recently announced that CEO Mark Frasora would be stepping down. Interestingly, Frasora left as CEO of Hertz about four years ago, shortly after Icon disclosed a stake in that company. But it's worth noting that gaming, much like banking, can be a difficult sector for activists, especially if they're looking to take a significant stake due to regulatory purposes. If the Nevada Gaming Commission, which oversees Vegas casinos, believes that a shareholder's ownership would be inconsistent with, quote, public policies and the state of Nevada, that shareholder may be investigated and subject to a sustainability hearing, guys. Not just activists, Leslie, short sellers as well. Mm -hmm. Remember a few weeks ago, Jim Chanos told us <laughs> on this show that he was shorting Wynn and Sands because of the, the risk around Macau gaming licenses being up. It really is such a space that is ripe with activity right now. And that, I and guess it's because your, of the performance? Exactly. Yeah. And clearly controversial because Chano's betting on the declines. These activist investors are long only. They're betting on the rebound. So it'll be interest interesting to see in 2019 who comes out on top. There is a lot of debate over this sector, especially as it relates to their properties in Asia, especially as it relates to their emergence after a very difficult 2018. And then, of course, just consolidation in the industry as a whole. We heard, you know, Tillman Fertitta was, was rumored to be potentially eyeing Caesars for a buyout last year. So so all of that should shake out in 2019, which is why we see hedge funds really getting in the fray.